Oh, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newqbo.com. Newqbo.com. That's our QBO blog. Uh, so you want to check it out. We have great articles and uh, free video tutorials. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to uh, discuss common mistakes to avoid in QuickBooks Online inventory. So this video is very specific. So it deals with uh, initial quantity in hand and inventory quantity adjustment. So uh, uh, if you are new to QuickBooks Online inventory and uh, you want to avoid uh, uh, keep your mess, so this is the video to watch. Okay, so you learn a lot from this video. All right, so I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online. So it's QuickBooks Online. Okay, and uh, the the screen I'm talking about is the products and services. And let's say you want to add new inventory. So you on uh, product and services inventory screen and you will see in initial quantity on hand so this is the fo first focus of this video initial quantity on hand so what's what should it be okay first of all if you are just creating this inventory item it should always be zero you have to type zero in there even if it's, if it's, uh, you, have, you don't have anything you haven't bought anything uh, you don't accept it as blank so you have to put in zero okay so normally people just put in uh, something you bought just recently or or uh, you have something on hand so it doesn't work that way so the, the whole intention the whole idea of this uh, in initial quantity on hand let's say you have let's say I'll just put a number in here hundred is when uh, you moved uh, from uh, let's say manual to this QuickBooks online and it's nothing to do with you just bought it or uh, or something is coming or anything like that so so normally you know when creating this it should be zero it's always zero unless if uh, if you are converting uh, from let's say spreadsheet uh, to QuickBooks online and you already have uh, uh, certain items you already paid for that's the only time you will enter initial quantity of hand otherwise it's always be zero okay uh, and as of date is basically when you started uh, uh, QuickBooks online uh, subscription date you know or could be any date uh, uh, you know before you uh, converted to QuickBooks Online. So it's all paid for and you don't have any uh, invoices to enter. Uh, that should be uh, uh, as of date. So if you have, uh, you ha if you have uh, uh, one quantity on hand and you need to sue, issue uh, uh, invoice, uh, then it should be the in initial quantity on hand is to be prior to that date. So initial quantity on hand is always zero and uh, there shouldn't be any uh, invoices to create uh, prior to that date okay so that's the focus of this video many people they just enter certain initial quantity on hand and update it you know uh, they don't even know how to enter uh, uh, quantity on hand I'll discuss that uh, now okay so I'm just gonna go to uh, okay so you bought uh, Let's say you just started with zero and you bought uh, uh, certain inventory items, okay? So in that case, uh, what you need to do is, let's say this expansion here, you should always use the item details, item details, not the category type. You know, if you use in here, it'll go to your chart of accounts and it won't update your product and services list uh, that's mapped to inventory asset account. So if you bought something in here, you should always use uh, uh, item details. So this is the way to add your inventories, inventory on hand. Okay. So let's say you just bought uh, ten gadget 101 at six hundred dollars a piece. So this is how you have to enter it. 
as I say you just paid uh, by uh, uh, bank check let's say okay and save so this will add uh, your quant your hand it was 500 before now it's 510 and uh, don't enter under category details or don't update this number in here that's not how it works okay all right so now now the second part is uh, uh, I'm gonna focus on in inventory quantity adjustment okay so you don't adjust that uh, you know normally you don't need to adjust that so I'm talking about this in here inventory quantity adjustment you know you can do it from here or if you have a whole bunch you just come here product and services list and then sort inventory only inventory only like this and let's say you have a whole bunch of inventory items you need to make adjustment and just click select all and then you will see batch action and then underneath you will see adjust quantity okay so inventory quantity adjustment this is the screen so if you, even if you go from uh, uh, from here it will still take the same place but it will list just uh, uh, you have to select quantity of inventory item one at a time see that or the other one it will list all inventories on hand you have okay so uh, so the thing is uh, you shouldn't be uh, you know using this screen at all the only times because you you know you bought it uh, you bought 100 and you sold uh, 100 your inventory on hand should be uh, zero you, you shouldn't be adjusting this at all so if you are if you need to adjust this uh, quite frequently you know then something wrong uh, with whatever you are doing okay uh, so so only time you want to adjust this is let's say you sold uh, uh, 10 units and uh, you may made a mistake in sending 15 units to a customer you know on invoice packing slip is 10 and you just your shipping shipping person just sent out uh, let's say 15 units okay so on your on your quantity hand you have five less that's the only time you will need to uh, adjust this uh, inventory quantity of hand otherwise you know if you are buying 100 and uh, uh, shipping 100 uh, you shouldn't be uh, uh, just you know you don't need to adjust this uh, 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 inventory quantity at all okay so another case maybe you have bunch of inventories uh, and just ship the wrong item you know you ship one wrong item just uh, let's say two items uh, somebody ordered 10 and you shipped uh, uh, eight of uh, one type and the other uh, other two of another type then you have uh, uh, you know quantity on hand uh, problem so that's the only time you would need to come here and readjust uh, uh, your inventory on hand otherwise you shouldn't be using the screen at all okay so that's the focus of the video because many people uh they make a mess you know because every time there's something wrong they just come here and adjust it either here or just go in here and uh, adjust the uh, the screen in here so you should never be uh, you know changing this you know starting here and doing that way okay so once once this zero it's all fixed or or you started with uh, uh, already paid for a uh, quantity of hand and it's not in this book then you just enter it here the so one time just one time not frequently okay so that's the focus of this video hope this is helpful uh, and uh, uh, you know be subscribed to our uh, YouTube channels we have uh, all kinds of free video tutorials and we have two channels at this time it's youtube.com forward slash BP controller PP controller youtube.com for us to have QuickBooks QBO, the one you're watching right now. Thank you.